Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be doing a review of The Jesus Incident by Frank Herbert and Bill Ransom. So Frank Herbert, obviously, author of Dune. Uh, I don't have a huge amount to say about this book, as you can probably see from the tabs, there aren't that many. And a lot of them are quotes as well. Now the reason for that isn't necessarily that I didn't like it, it's just that it's so complex. Now, this is one of those books when I finish reading it, and I'm still kind of struggling to put it all together in my head, you know? Um, and so I think you'd need to read it like five times before you got all of the little nuances. But anyway, I'm going to read you the blurb, then I'm going to go through and check out some of my tabs, and I'll share my thoughts at the end if I have anything to add to what I just said. Dane reads. So, the Jesus Incident. A small group of human colonists are engaged in a desperate struggle for survival. Ranged against them, the planet Pandora, its native life forms as malevolent and savage as they are numerous, and ship, their shipboard computer, who knows that it is God, and, on pain of destruction, demands their worship. A giant of a novel, vast in its conception, cosmic in scope, universal in theme. So, so we have um, chaplain psychiatrists throughout this, and the acronym for them is CP, and they're referred to as CPs. Um, and I have watched enough true crime that's definitely the reason, just to clarify, this isn't something that should be joked about really. I have watched enough true crime to know what the acronym CP stands for, so it was very odd and also in a weird way fitting because they were talking about chaplains and, you know, history of the Catholic Church and all that. Anyway, quote by Jesus Lewis, The Oaks Diary, a good bureaucracy is the best tool of oppression ever invented. A quote from Frankenstein's Monster Speaks from the Ship Records. If you've ever read Frankenstein, you will recognise these little bits. Frankenstein, a great novel, by the way. Read Frankenstein before you read this, even though, like, as, as I say, this isn't bad. It's just also not, like, mind-blowing. It's not on the scale of something like Dune, which became a sci-fi classic, you know? Anyway. Beware, for I am fearless and therefore powerful. I will watch with the wiliness of a snake, that I may sting with its venom. You shall repent of the injuries you inflict. Frankenstein's Monster Speaks. And again, these are from the ship records. I mean, one thing that is quite cool, because again, it's all relating back to religion, so this is in a way why I didn't get as much from it as maybe another reader might, because I'm not religious. So a lot of the religious like comparisons and all that kind of stuff might have gone over my head. I mean, there is like a very unsubtle bit where they're basically reenacting the crucifixion of Jesus. So it's like, well, that I, I, I get, you know? Um, but yeah, the sh because the ship is God, they worship it, spelled capital W and capital S. Uh, which I thought was quite cool, you know, fun little play on words. Here is a great uh, out of context quote. Herbert is great for some of these. So he said, um, Bulbous head lurched one step toward her, still holding that enormous erection pointed at her. And then he goes on about clones being property, which raises some very interesting issues around consent and, you know, just, yeah, don't want to think about that too much really. All right, quote here from Training the Chaplain Psychiatrist, moon-based documents from the ship records. Absolute dependence is the hallmark of religion. It posits the supplicant and the one who dispenses gifts. The supplicant employs ritual and prayer in the attempt to influence, control, the dispenser of gifts. The kinship between this relationship and the days of absolute monarchs cannot be overlooked. This dependence on supplication gives to the keeper of those two essentials, the ritual paraphernalia and the purity of prayerful forms, that is, to the chaplain, a power akin to that of the gift dispenser. Might need to unpick that one a little bit. That one's one where it's easier to read that than it is to, you know, easier to read it to yourself than it is to read it out loud. We got a bit of a sketchy line here. The anxiety rose in her like something, like a bastard child got by rape. I don't know about that. I mean, I suffer from anxiety disorder, but I don't really feel comfortable with that comparison, you know? Christian Book of the Dead, ship records. And the Lord said, behold, the people is one and they have all one language and now nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined to do. Let us go down and confound their language that they may not understand one another's speech. And finally from ship quotes here, myths are not fiction, but history seen with a poet's eyes and recounted in a poet's terms. So, as you can see, most of what I took from this was actually from these little excerpts at the start of the paragraphs, uh, start of the chapters. I mean, I would say they're very short chapters as well, like, probably between three to ten pages per chapter or something so there are a lot of these quotes and there's stuff in there where I was like that would be interesting to talk about but I have no idea how I'd even begin to approach it because again it's just one of those books where you'd, you'd need to read it a few times to get all of the nuances um, having said that it was pleasurable enough to read uh, I gave it like a probably a pretty weak 3.5 out of 5 but it was okay 
and uh, if it's tickled your fancy, check it out. I mean, I would say June, obviously better than this, and that's kind of why Herbert's known for it. But also, like, uh, some of uh, Herbert's non-June novels, like the uh, Santa Roga Barrier, that was cracking. So maybe read that before you get to this. But if you see this going spare secondhand, why not? So there we have it, that's what I made of The Jesus Incident by Frank Herbert and Bill Ransom. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments what you thought of this book if you read it. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.